Hi, welcome to the uh, FMH5 uh, YouTube channel. My name is Marvels, and today I'm going to cover some of the basic functionality of the new save editor um, which I developed. So, the stage you need to be at is you've downloaded it, it's in a zip, and what you need to do is you need to extract the zip. I usually go into my desktop, but you can take it wherever you want to take it at all, it doesn't really matter. So once it's uh, on your desktop, open the folder up and go ahead and click the save editor. There are a, a few prerequisites. You need to have uh, .NET 4 fully uh, installed, it has to be the full version, not the client version. Um, some users have reported that um, uninstalling .NET 4 Redownloading and reinstalling has helped in the past, but I think the majority of, of users, uh, the, the bugs have, have pretty much disappeared now. So today I'm only going to show you the, the basic functionality. Um, it's not going to be any of the, the more detailed features. Um, that will follow on on other YouTube video clips. So I've got a, a number of saves here. Um, usually you transfer your saves off your um, your device either through iTunes for the iOS device or if it's Android either via plugging in your USB cable or I, what I do I generally use Dropbox just to, to transfer in between. Um, your saves are usually named 1 to 4 um, in this video I've got ones up to 70 but that's just due to my uh, testing uh, purposes while I was uh, developing the uh, save editor. I'm going to load up number 70. As you double click your save, a, a pop up will appear. It should tell you um, who you are, as in your game manager name, and also the, uh, the current team that you're managing. If you're unemployed, it will say unemployed. So go ahead and click OK. So here we have the, uh, the main the main application um, with the about page. I, I do recommend that you read the about page as it is updated from release to release, um, giving you important information um, and, the, and the current version number. So from, uh, from this page you can see that we have uh, down here the version number of the actual save editor. It confirms uh, who you are and the team that you're managing and it also uh, confirms that the uh, save has been loaded completely. Uh, one of the new features in 13.4.3.1 um, is this down here under the uh, low complete word is the word edited. Um, so going forward um, from now on users will know if they are using a edited um, save game. Okay, So if you go onto the, uh, the player tab um, this uh, this lists out all the players um, in game, um, along with um, various uh, uh, details like the position, their age, their abilities, and their value and their wage as well. Um, as you can see at the top, we've got a, a full selection um, of different filters which you can use, uh, which are quite use useful. So you could look for a Spanish player, and it only bring back Spanish players. Say so you only want them to be uh, young players, 17 to 21, only brings back the younger Spanish players. Let's say you want them to have quite a high potential, so you want someone who's going to be quite good for the future. Again, filter it down and there we have, we only got three, uh, three young Spanish players in this particular save that have a, a high potential, uh, potential rating. You've got the button over here to the right, which uh, allows you to clear the filters down and it will repopulate the list um, as it was beforehand. So the next tab is your non-player tab and this is similar to the uh, the player tab but this is just for the managers within the game. Um, again you can filter by name or you can filter by the club if you know exactly who they are. So you have to write the full club down, you can do Chelsea, you can put Chel and it will find all the ones starting off with Chel so it's quite handy if you want to just type the first few letters, it'll, it'll cut the list down for you. Again, the clear button works. Um, next tab is the club tab, and this lists out all the clubs within the game. Um, similarly, 
Uh, similarly, you can uh, filter it by the club name or what nation they're in. A um, couple of the, the newer tabs in this version is the shortlist tab. And what this allows you to do, you can either load a shortlist that you've created within um, the actual um, handheld app, load it up and have a look at the, the players which you're interested in, see if they meet your expectations. Um, another feature is you can actually add uh, players from the editor into a, a shortlist and uh, export it out, which I'll, I'll go through later. Um, the next tab is the external data tab, which I'll be going through in a, a different YouTube uh, video. It is quite a, uh, a new enhancement and it will take a bit of time to explain the, the, the actual um, how, how it actually works and the, the correct procedures for it to, to be used. And the last tab is, is, is settings. So it's, it's just your general theme settings and for those of you who use a, a netbook um, or a small screen resolution, you've got the ability to resize which will unlock um, horizontal um, movement of the application. Right. Okay, so we're on the player tab. Let's just open that back up so it's nice and fresh. So, um, basic editing on the uh, the player tab. So we have, let's say, someone here like uh, Thierry Henry. If you double click on any other person's names, it will go into a, uh, a different screen which will give you the actual statistics and attributes of each player. Um, it's quite detailed, it will give you their hidden attributes as well, as well as their reputation and and their favourite relationships, that, that sort of thing is pretty self-explanatory. Um, from this screen you can add the player to the shortlist, so if you see this I'll just click add to shortlist. If I look at my shortlist tab now, Thierry Henry is there, and again I'll go through the exportation of that later on. So let's say um, you want Thierry Henry to uh, to be a bit younger and in a different team. You hit the edit button and it brings up the next uh, subform, which allows you to actually edit the uh, the stats. So let's say we want him to to be a bit younger. I don't know. Let's make him uh, let's make his date of birth to be. Uh, 1988, so he's uh, 10 years younger than he actually is. Um, but we don't want him uh, to be in uh, New York Red Bulls. Let's say we want to take him back to uh, to Arsenal, back to the glory days. And uh, let's say that his current ability is boosted a little bit, so that he has a bit of room to grow. So we can we can change some of his stats here, but in in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them as it is. Uh, one thing you might notice is that the the attributes for some of them don't range from zero to twenty, and uh, as explained before, this is due to a uh, specific um, algorithm within the actual game, which I, I've unable to be not able to work out at the moment. So um, change them at your own risk. Um, in the past, people have changed them just to twenty, and it seems to have carried through to the game, but again, um, do it at your own risk. You also have the ability here to change the, the player's position, um, so if you want to play him more on the left, we'll just whack him more on the left there, you can see it lights up, so he has a more uh, natural position for centre and left as well. And I might just boost the right side as well a bit, just to make him an all-round player. So if you close that down, it confirms, because we've uh, switched the, his team, it confirms how many slots are left in that team. Uh, if you don't know it, each team has a maximum of 36 uh, squad players and when you reach that limit you can't add any more players. So this little warning just lets you know how many slots are left just if you are planning to make quite a few changes to that particular team. So we're going to close uh, Thierry on Redown and um, let's say we want to uh, edit uh, Cesc Fabregas next. Again Add it to my shortlist, and um, similar to uh, Thierry Henry, I want him back in my Arsenal squad. 